Hashem, what do you want? What do you want from me? This is what that I'm going to do. And whatever gun you're going to put in front of my eyes, I'm going to do that. No matter what it's going to be. Hashem Itbach is sending David HaMelech. The David HaMelech is a man of peace. He's not a man of war. He's sending him to fight. He's sending him to, for battles, to fight, to kill the Amalekites, and to fight with more enemies, and, and, and against Goliath. David HaMelech, someone told me that he was, I, I didn't see it. it, someone told me that he was 17 years old when he fought with, with Goliath. With a giant, you're 17 years old kid, you don't know what to do with your life, you don't know nothing, he was a shepherd until today. Just know how to, to, to play the violin, the flute. This is, the, this is what that he knows. When he was supposed to fight, what he done? He took stones from the, from the river. He's going with five stones. <laughs> he doesn't know to fight. He's not a warrior. Shaul HaMelech put the armor on him. He couldn't walk with it. It's, it, it doesn't fit. He's not a warrior. He was skinny. He was thin. He cannot fight. But when Hashem commands you to fight, you need to fight. When Hashem wants you to stand up, you need to stand up. When Hashem wants you to pray, you need to pray. When Hashem wants you to do tshuva, that you're going to admit on the truth, that you're going to make deep investigations inside of yourself until you're going to uproot all of the doubts that you have on Hashem, all of the questions that you have on Hashem. Hashem wants you to commit yourself to Him, to make aliyah, to come to live in Eretz Israel. You need to sacrifice. You need to sacrifice your villa in Long Beach and to come to Eretz Israel. You have to come to Eretz Israel. This is the place that it meant to be. Only here Am Israel received their promise. Only here. Only here you can have faith. Only person that lives in Eretz Israel, he's a person that got God with him. And if you're not here, God is not with you. Sounds hard. But Hashem said it, not me. Hashem said it. The Gemara is writing that more than 2,000 years ago. The one that lives in Eretz Israel, he's got God with him. The one that doesn't live in Eretz Israel, it's like a person that doesn't have God with him. He's a non-believer, he doesn't believe, he's a kofer in Hashem. It's hard for you. Tough luck. Go talk to Hashem on it. Hashem can change it. Go talk to Him. But for now, that this is the additions that we have from the Gemara, you cannot change the Gemara. This is what it's written. The Torah has been given to us that we're going to come and build Beit HaMikdash. How we can build Beit HaMikdash when our brothers are still outside? Can we do something without them? Can you move without your brother? Can you move? We know that when Mashiach is going to come, the gate is going to be closed. We're not accepting Baalet Shuvah anymore. So what can we do? Can we accept Mashiach? Can we build Beit HaMikdash? Let's go. Let's build Beit HaMikdash. We cannot do that. We're not allowed to do that. How can you do it? If you're going to do it, you decree a horrible decree on all of our millions of brothers that are outside from Eretz Israel. They, they don't have the permission to come into Eretz Israel. They can talk. They can think that they have all of the options and everything is open. A golden cage. No one can escape. No one can decide nothing in his life. You don't have free choice. Hashem is going to tell you exactly what you're going to do in your life. You're here in Eretz Israel, you're a refugee. You've been saved. This is it. Now the Alakha is saying that if you're here, you're not allowed to leave Eretz Israel. And the same Alakha you have in Jerusalem. If you live in Jerusalem, you're not allowed to decide, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go to live in Bnei Brak. You're not allowed to. Halachically, you're not allowed to. Rav Yaakov Yosef said that psak, the son of Rav, Yo of Rav Ovadia Yosef. He said, you're not allowed. Like the holiness of Eretz Israel, you're not allowed to go to a lower Kedusha, from the Kedusha of Eretz Israel to a lower Kedusha. You have the same thing on Eretz Israel. If you're of Jerusalem, if you live in Jerusalem, you're not allowed to go to a lower Kedusha, to live in Tel Aviv, to live in Bnei Brak. It's nice in Bnei Brak. You have Park Hayarkon in Tel Aviv. Oh, wonderful. You're not allowed. Halakha is not permitting. You're not allowed. What it means? That Hashem is going to push you forward and forward and forward and forward toward to Him. Until we're going to build Beit HaMikdash. And we're not allowed to stop. And we have to keep on getting closer and closer and closer. And you cannot get closer without your brothers. 
So you have to put all of your powers to bring your brothers that they're all going to come to here to live in Eretz Israel with us. Each and every one of us have that obligation.